Hey guys. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be showing you a core build. Uh, this is a core that I have used quite often. Walking down into the main chute, you'll notice that we have the two beds that are accessible right away. As well as lots of room for loot. Coming with the roof bunker. The root bunker is vulnerable to splash through the top there, it's the only thing to watch out, but man is it great. Acting as a double bunker. Most of the time I'll either put hidden loot as well as batteries. You guys know me, I love my drop downs and crouching, so. <laughs> I left this open to demonstrate something for you guys. You can put in the other roof bunker here. This base is accessible for two roof bunkers. We'll get more into that in a bit. I found that putting your electricity down there if you don't want to hide it behind the roof is the best option for safety. Another half loot room, as well as a full loot room. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of windows. I do multi TC every base usually. Uh, if you aren't a big fan of the windows, then I wouldn't say multi TCing is as recommended, but it never hurts. This base is roof stacked. core is very strong and the beauty about roof stacking is you can get unreal peats like these so when you're building your towers and stuff you have a lot to go off of. all right let's get started with the build using the basic two square foundations a ramp we'll look for these two x's find the little line that's a little bit shifted right above it grab a small box align it Simple as that. From here, this works on mostly any other terrain. And it's that simple. Don't forget to pick up your bots before breaking that. As a starter, this is usually what I would use to get started on a server with this build. Simple one by one with the double door. Uh, it is important to add this now. You will not be able to add it later. If you don't want it, then don't worry about it. But if you do, highly recommend adding it now. Now let's get back to the floor stack. Getting to the other side is quite simple. You can get rid of all the extra foundations when done. And this is what you'll be left with. You begin upgrading. That's all on you on how you want to do it during the wipe. I will usually leave all these she metal. And the two right here are usually armored. Now because this base is roof stacked, you can add two ladder hatches. And it does make top down a less viable option. Beauty about this base is it pretty much excludes doors and top downing. You'll have to put a raised foundation here. Recommend making it HQM, doing the top sheet metal so it evens out the cost. You can either raise these two foundations or leave them down. I prefer to leave them down for the extra hidden space. This side I would leave as normal. 
It's only the left side on the bunkers when building them that you actually have to worry about. I'd recommend upgrading it to armored. As well as the other side. Now you should have a solid seal in the center of your bunker here. Turning those two ladder hatches into an extra 15 rockets. Open up the bunker, it's very simple. Just grab a triangle roof and drop it. That's it. And like I was saying, leave this open if you'd like for the extra storage. And you're now open. Break it, and you're sealed. You don't need this side open, you can leave it as honeycomb if you're worried about the strength of it. Now to make up for the lack of defenses on the sides, we're going to armor all the way around this. And your simple one by one is getting very strong. Adding in these will help you expand the roof around, as well as more defense. This is what you should be stuck with at this point. Let's make a shoot for your drop. Doing it on the back, you cannot do it on the front or else that half wall will not hold if you'd like it there. Although that half wall is completely optional, it's there if you'd like it. You cannot put down the center square yet for this one particular reason. If you put it down, it won't allow you to put anything on those four walls. I'd recommend using window frames, but I know a lot of you don't like crouching, so it is possible to use garage doors, doors, whatever you'd like. The only thing I would recommend doing though, is if you do get raided, the window sills are a lot easier to replace rather than having to destroy stuff. So now if we want the second bunker, we have to do a half wall, making sure that this one isn't connected to anything. We can get our last bunker ready now. Turn this up by sealing up some honeycomb. A good little trick if you're having a problem dropping something, you can put a floor down and it will easily snap in after that. Leaving the top and the back side open just like you did on the other and the bottom. Adding in your final bunker. Seal off the rest of the base.
just like the bottom bunker. Easy peasy. Now, the beauty about this beam floor is that is it balances out the extra cost of the door. Make the top sheet metal, the bottom armored. Your top down is very expensive at this point. This is what we're working with. to seal that you're more than welcome to I'd recommend using window frames on each of the roofs although it is completely unnecessary the option is there for you You cannot put anything on top of the roof bunker below. It will seal the bunker. So as you can see, the roof just came through the bottom. I'd recommend doing something like this and this will help you get away without that. Or just leaving it open completely. I know a lot of you aren't a fan of the ladder hatches, but using this on this side does help quite a bit. The only problem with adding two floors on this part is making sure that you're using the top one for the bunker, not the bottom, or else it will not work. And then by sealing this, you're creating a very safe spot for a uh, triangle. I'd recommend putting your electricity in there. Getting in all the spots you'd want your garage doors at. And sealing the top, you'll have double roofs on every important part. You won't be able to place the floor on that piece without breaking the twig. So 
go ahead and snap that tweet out and it'll drop no problem. The nice thing about ladder hatch is if you do get one of the blueprints during a wipe, you do end up getting both of the blueprints. So this is why I'd say recommend using windows. They're a lot easier to replace the windows rather than the doors once that bottom one by one is sealed. But I know a lot of you don't like crouching. And now we're sealed. So you will still have that gap there, it's not a big deal, it's all protected very well. And this is it. Very easy, manageable bunker.